Did you recently read a paper reviewing a methodological issue? Are you wondering whether you can trust the best practice recommendations given in that review? Are you a journal reviewer or editor and would like to offer authors of submitted manuscripts useful development tool feedback on methodological issues? Have you been thinking about possibly writing a literature review of a methodological topic? Hi, I am Herman Aguinness from the George Washington University. I am Ravi S. Romney, an assistant professor at the Earl G. Graves School of Business and Management at Morgan State University. And I am Nawaf Al Abdul Jader, an assistant professor at Kuwait University. Our article in Organization Research Methods answers each of these questions. In our project, we analyzed 168 published methods reviews. Based on a content analysis, we discovered the 10 latent factors and the 40 indicators that are the most critical components of an excellent and trustworthy methodological review. These types of reviews help us improve our research game because they tell us how to do things right. These reviews are also used by instructors to train doctoral students. And of course, they are used by reviewers and journal editors as checklists in deciding whether to accept or reject papers. So this is why methodological reviews are so important and influential in management and many other fields as well. So, what did we find? First, despite their importance and popularity, there is a great variety in terms of the processes used and the level of transparency exhibited regarding how these reviews have been conducted, which affects their usefulness. Second, we found that most methodological literature reviews adopt critical, narrative, or descriptive approaches which helps in developing a collective understanding of knowledge regarding an issue, highlighting inconsistencies, and outlining possible future research directions. But we also found underutilized approaches that can be particularly useful, such as meta-analytic and umbrella reviews. For example, umbrella reviews provide a one-stop shop by integrating evidence from multiple reviews to address a narrow methodological research question and can therefore help to minimize questionable research practices regarding particular issues. Our organization and research methods article provides guidelines on what goes into preparing a literature review and what criteria can be used to evaluate them. We also offer evidence-based rec recommendations in the form of a checklist to help improve the thoroughness clarity, and usefulness of these reviews for authors, evaluators, and users. And for each recommendation, our article includes multiple examples so you can learn how other successful, that is published, reviews have tackled these issues. For example, to address the issue of need for review, we suggest actions such as outlining potential contributions of the methodological issue for substantive research, providing evidence of prior confusion about the issue, and demonstrating that researchers are incorrectly applying the methodology. As a second example, for the issue of scope of review and data selection, we recommend clarifying whether the article aims to provide a comprehensive one-stop shop treatment on the issue, address it as manifested within specific fields, or address a particular or narrower aspect of a larger issue. As yet another example of solutions regarding the issue of readability and usability, we suggest deciding whether to organize recommendations by stage of research process or as a step-by-step -step guideline, or outlining general best practice recommendations, discussing context-specific recommendations or decisions, illustrating recommendations using an empirical example or identifying published research that exemplifies the recommendations. Our article offers similarly detailed and actionable recommendations for dealing with each of the four broad issues regarding literature reviews. 
motivation and importance, scope and data selection, transparency and replicability, and is readability and usability. You will find our article useful if you're thinking about writing a methods review, even if you already wrote one in the past. Also, are you a reviewer or a journal editor? If yes, you will be able to use our checklist to evaluate manuscripts and also to give detailed and developmental feedback to the authors. Also, you will find our article useful if you're reading a review and want to sh make sure that you can trust the advice you just read. We hope our research will be helpful in terms of producing more robust, reproducible, and trustworthy methodological reviews in the future in management and also many other fields. Please get in touch with us if you have any questions, and we very much look forward to hearing from you.